So you come to the San Diego area, right? And as I'm sure you've seen already, it's a huge area. There's tons of neighborhoods that you can go to and places that you can live. Well, in this video, we're gonna go through it all right now. You're gonna see the good, the bad, the ugly, and places that you'll love and places you'll also hate here in the area. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up family? And we're just in here with Living in San Diego channel and EXP Realty. As always, we're gonna go through all the good, the bad, the left and rights of the whole San Diego area in this video now. And honestly, we get tons of people like you all the time reaching out to us through call, text, email, or even a Zoom link in the description in the calendar below. Check, so check that out. However you wanna get a hold of us, we're available days, nights, weekends, holidays, whenever you are, so reach out. Let's get to it. Hey, what's up everyone? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm hop over to a map view of San Diego County. And we're going to go through the whole county pretty much. I'm going to show you places where you might love to live and places where you might hate to live. All right, so this is a map of the whole San Diego County. And I should draw here where the county lines are. It's a pretty big county. So we go all the way to San Clemente, uh, just under Temecula, all the way down to Campo, bordering the line of Mexico. And... So you can see how huge this place is, right? It's it's pretty insane. Um, I'm mostly gonna be talking about the areas right here, up to Del Mar, stuff like that, because that's where I mainly I mainly focus on, right? So all right, so I'm gonna start up here at La Jolla, right? So La Jolla is a very nice area. It's super uh, super gorgeous right here. They have cliffs along the whole coastline. UCSD is actually here as well. So it's a good place to go to if you have kids that are trying to go to college soon. UCSD is a beautiful school. They have uh, great programs. And also, you know, like I said, it's in a gray area. So you have La Jolla Shores Beach, where I talked earlier in my other videos. They have some great snorkeling. They have tons of seals over there that you can look at and even uh, some scuba diving in this area right here. All right. So here's, I'll draw again for you guys. Here is UCSD right here. You have beautiful beaches right here that's super famous along this whole coastline right here. The architecture in this whole area is super modern. It's rich with uh, tons of shops, restaurants, and like I said, again, beautiful, beautiful views in the whole area. All right, so going down now, we get into more into the San Diego area that people consider to be San Diego, right? We got North Claremont, super nice area as well. Um, tons of stuff there. And In-N-Out's are going to be here. If you guys are a fan of In-N-Out, if you haven't tried it, I highly suggest you guys try it. In-N-Out is amazing. You're lying. I am not lying. Um, people from Texas might tell you otherwise, because Texas people, they're all about what a burger, you know? That's always been a big argument over here in uh, on the West Coast. People say, oh, in and out burger is better. Whataburger is better, but I mean, I've tried both personally and they're both delicious, but I still gotta go with my, you know, my In-N-Out burger. I'm, I'm loyal to them, All right? Let's get back on track. So coming down here along the coastline of La Jolla, we got the one of my second favorite spots, which is Pacific Beach. It's a beautiful area as well. They have, let's zoom in here a little bit. They have tons of, uh, Shops are on, along here in Garnet Avenue. It's a, it's a famous spot for uh, for college kids, even like older families, you know. They have tons of restaurants, bars, even some clubs they can go to at night along this whole strip. Garnet and Grand is uh, really good for stuff like that, right? Again, Pacific Beach right here is a, a long boardwalk and the houses along this area, they're gonna be 80% Airbnbs, right? But I mean, if you guys can go there, check it out. Maybe you want to get Airbnb just to see the whole area yourself. It's super, you'll see it's super nice along this whole area right here, All right? And then even coming along down here, you have Cell Bay, which is a huge little cove thing. Huge little cove thing right here along Mission Beach. So yeah, Cell Bay is right here. It's a nice spot. You can go on for a walk. They have tons of little boats out there. You can go and rent out um, kayakers, paddle boarding, stuff like that. So super cool area. But back to Pacific Beach right here on the Grand Avenue 
in Garnet Avenue. This whole strip, like I said, is just full of, of rich food. They have Axorian you can go to. I've done that before. They have uh, tons of tattoo shops over there. It's super popular, you know. PB, I love the area. I used to go there all the time. When I first got here back in 2018, um, they have awesome clubs, great place to meet new people. Water bar, super, really, super good as well. A cool environment. They have rooftop bar over there and, and honestly, pretty good food as well. Uh, the Mexican food in here is, is in this whole area is uh, super good as well. But if you're looking for like classic, you know, beer, wings, and sports place kind of go, I would highly recommend Bubs. Uh, they have super good wings. I mean, everything I've tried there, I also have some tater tots mixed with uh, chicken as well, all kinds of different themes to it. And every time I get a different flavor, it's, it's amazing. All right, so, come, so coming back down here again, following Pacific Beach, we run into Mission, Mission Beach. It's, just, it's a huge strip right here. You still see Cell Bay coming along. Um, nice little park right here in this area where we've gone before with my family. And just hang out on the beach. The waves right here is super calm. There's literally like almost no waves. So it's great to spot to bring your kids, you know. Uh, they can play in the water. Again, you can run out kayaks, paddle boarding, or even just play, you know, just go wade in the water for a little bit, hang out. Um, also a great spot over here for playing like little sports, frisbee. They have uh, some volleyball courts over here as well. So that's always good. Coming down over here. Mission Beach has its own little little boardwalk called Belmont Park. It's like a mini little amusement park, you would say. You know, they have like a few roller coasters in here, um, really nice grill as well, arcade, laser, laser, laser tag arcade, they have a gym even inside the whole place. This whole area is super hustle and bustle, lots of people there. So if you don't like big crowds, this might not be the best spot for you. But I mean, if you don't mind that and uh, you know, want something to do, you can go here, walk around, don't even have to spend any money at all, just kind of look around, tons of cool stuff to see. And honestly, if you do want to do something in here, it's, it's relatively cheap compared to places like uh, Six Flags or Disneyland, you know, it's, it's crazy cheap. It's com it's almost like a, like a better upgraded carnival kind of thing that does not move, right? So, super cool. Um, they also have, over here in this area, Mission Beach Park, is quite a few times like on three-day weekends like for Labor Day weekend or President's Day they will have tons of like tents up here set up for for food or just you know homemade products from from some of the vendors in here uh, they'll have like tons of elote which my girlfriend loves to get on, along here the elote is super good right uh, this again this whole coastline right here is is just beautiful beach area super nice and coming down we run into keep going keep going run into uh mission slash ocean beach right here ocean beach is right here so ocean beach is kind of an older beach it's not as nice as pacific beach and mission beach but still some very cool stuff here hodads is pretty popular hodads is a, a famous burger place you guys can go to. Uh, see 4.7 reviews out of five, 5,100 reviews. So I mean, that's saying something in itself, right? Uh, tons of good restaurants in here with the great views of the pier and the ocean. Awesome time to go is on the sunset time, right? So it's pretty awesome over there. Also over here, they have tons of, uh, let's see, where is it? They have lots of breweries in this area as well. There's uh, we call it, there's a place over here we call Brewery Lane because there's like six breweries in one in one little strip of Ocean Beach, right? It's pretty uh, pretty cool. So you can actually go to the area one day on the weekend and go brewery hopping. Um, you know, have have a few flights, good try some amazing beer. If you guys are into that kind of stuff, that's always fun. And going down some more, we go into Point Loma. So Point Loma is super nice. I also have a nice college over here as well. I'm not as nice as UCSD or USD or SDSU. I'll get into those later on. But a super famous spot here in Point Loma is going to be Sunset Cliffs Beach, right? It's going to be right here. Sunset Cliffs Beach. 
um, all this area right here is super popular. You're actually going to have a nice little hike that you can go. It's not, I mean, I would really call it a hike because you're not going very high in elevation, but you, it's a little bit, there's a little bit of an incline up and down along this whole area. And you're walking along the cliffs of the beach. You can see amazing views, seagulls going around. People over here actually, you're not supposed to do it, but you will, uh, you'll see people jumping off cliffs sometimes into the ocean, which I would not recommend I would not condone that at all because there has been some injuries in the past and even uh, fatalities but you know it does happen people do do it but again I would not myself it's a little bit too risky for me but uh, yeah this area is super nice super beautiful as well it's really along this whole area right here as you go down further and further we run into the uh, naval part of Point Loma, this whole area right here, from here all the way down is pretty much, um, pretty much just military bases. So you're not gonna be able to get over there unless you are military, of course, right? Um, I was prior military and I never went to this area right here. Well, at least I never worked there. I have been to the base, but never worked there, but that brings me to my next point. Um, the military here in San Diego is there's it's a pretty huge military station in general. We have like five or six bases in here. So this is one right here. Um, I was in that little bit right now. So again, you guys kind of get a bearing for where we're at. So here's La Jolla I was talking about, Pacific Beach, uh, Mission Beach is right here in the middle between Ocean Beach and then Point Loma is where Sunset Cliffs was. Super nice area. Uh, this is Sail Bay I was talking about earlier where you can go, it's super calm waters, super chill. Uh, I forgot to mention SeaWorld is in this area as well. So if you guys like SeaWorld, then you want, you want to see some, um, some sea life, you can go check that out as well. This whole bay right here, the Mission Bay and Fiesta Island is surrounded by people that, you know, they love to go here boating, uh, jet skiing, stuff like that. So that's always a good time too, if you want to check that out. All right, so that's a Navy bases. Scroll out here. We have one right here, this whole right here, this whole area here is pretty much a uh, naval base. And then going down past downtown, we come over here to Coronado, taking this bridge. This bridge will take you to this uh, huge naval base. This is actually where I was stationed at, Naval Air Station North Island. Uh, we call it NASNI out here. All right, it's a huge naval station right here. That's one base on Coronado. There's another one right over here for the amphibious bases. But, uh, and there's also a few down here. We got the training base for the SEALs, the training complex right here. And then a landing field for all the helicopters and stuff like that. Uh, and then over here as well, the last base that I know of in the area, close to the area is the 32nd Street along this whole bay. You'll see, you, you could even see, come across this bridge right here. There's tons of ships that you guys can look at. Uh, it's super big. But all the aircraft carriers are going to be over here, of course, in the bigger island. But let's talk about Coronado right now. So Coronado is a super beautiful spot. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier in my other videos, too. There is one strip along here. It's called Orange Avenue, right here, Orange Avenue. This is the main road for Coronado. Um, going on, it's weird because going on Coronado, you kind of get a, you kind of get a uh, small town feel to it which is, it's cool, but it's different because, you know, it's it's jam-packed full of people. Um, all the homes here are super nice. I'm sure they're like a million plus, right? And, and when you get over here, you it's going to be huge houses, three million plus, you know? So, um, but Coronado Beach is also super nice. And they're they're well known for being the, uh, because of Hotel Del right here, Hotel Del Coronado. It's a pretty big hotel, super old. I think it was built in the 1900s, lower, uh, early 1900s so that's cool to check out it's like a red and uh, white building i'll put that put a little video just to show that but again this is this right here is a super nice um beach along here it's not much stuff to do compared to ocean beach and, and pacific beach but it's definitely uh worth checking out i mean it's free to go there there's no fees nothing even that bridge there used to be a toll on this bridge a long time ago but no longer anymore 
even if you don't want to go to the beach, go. I would highly recommend you go on this, this bridge right here. Because going on this bridge, you see a nice, beautiful view of not only the island, right? But also of downtown and all the, the tall buildings, skyscrapers in that area. So that's always cool. That brings me to my next point, though. Uh, downtown San Diego, right? So this area is going to be just full of stuff to do. Um, we have Petco Park where the Padres play. They also have other events there like concerts. I've seen uh, Monster Jam there. Um, what else? Like uh, Supercross goes there as well. Tons of stuff they do, right? Um, here they have a nightlife tours, which is, I've done that before. It's pretty fun. It's like a club crawl at night. You go around this whole downtown area next to Balboa Park and you, uh, oops, I'm sorry, not Balboa Park, but the Balboa Theater, right? Tons of stuff to do around here. Great clubs, great food. Breakfast Public is also amazing. But if you're looking to live here in Gaslamp Quarter, San Diego downtown, uh, you're gonna be paying quite a bit. I know they have they have uh, one reason that came out, a listing that came out recently here in February, 2022, was a one bed, one bath, 750 square feet condo for 515,000. So, you know, that's pretty pricey. But again, you're paying for the life that you're gonna be living over here. And uh, you know, you're next to everything. So but going down here downtown, looking some more, looking closer, we got little Italy, right? Little Italy is just what it is, and that's just what it says. Uh it's a little area here in downtown San Diego that has tons of great Italian food, um, Italian desserts as well. I recommend going there too as well. They have also some breweries. You'll find in San Diego tons of breweries just kind of sprinkled out throughout the whole area, which is cool. I like I like trying new beer and stuff like that. So, um, but Little Italy is a nice spot. Tons of cool stuff to look at as well. Um, over here to the left of Little Italy, Waterfront Park. They have some a cool little area where kids can play, and then some fountains along here. Kids can play in, see fountains with lawns and a play area. Super cool spot. They've even done festivals here as well, like a margarita festival um, and things like that. Along here, you have, you have cruise ships. So you can see the whole downtown area is, is just full of stuff to do. Um, it's going to be a lot of hustle and bustle and some traffic, of course, like any city. But when you compare it to cities like New York or L.A., you know, it's not going to be that bad compared to those cities. All right. So coming back over here, we're going to go look at some more colleges, right? So again, La Jolla is right here. UCSD is in this area. Come and zoom in right here next to Pacific Beach and SeaWorld. We have USD. So UCSD is University College of San Diego. And then USD is University of San Diego. It's a private Catholic college, right? But they're also really renowned for their, for their programs. They're pretty good. It's a beautiful college as well. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah. Has nice architecture. If you guys are into the architecture stuff like that, world like that. Um, but coming in some more over here to University Heights. We will come into This area next to USD is super nice as well. Um, so if you're looking for a place over here, I would, you know, it's, it's a good spot to look at, but they're gonna be a little pricey, of course, because you're next to the water and you're also next to one of the uh, nicer schools here in San Diego, right? Um, old Town is super nice as well. It's just what it is. It's kind of like a classic Old Town throwback area. Tons of Mexican, great Mexican food over here. Little museum, historical park that you guys can walk through. I recommend going there as well, super nice. Uh, but as far as Point Loma goes, this whole area right here, that you can find some nice spots in here. Um, if you're military, they do have some some military housing over here. The military, the housing out here is not they're not on base like most bases are. They're gonna be off base. So regardless, you have to drive somewhere whether you live in military housing or you're renting or you want to buy your own place, right? So keep that in mind. 
Um, but I, there is known to have quite a few homeless people around here in this area, just like in San Diego. So keep an uh, eye out for that as well. Liberty Station right here is actually a historical place. It used to be the old Navy boot camp years and years ago, um, but they've turned it into a commerce area with tons of great food. They actually have a display, this place down here. Um, it's called Liberty Station. Let's see, where is it at? Liberty Public Market, um, super cool spot. I, used, I think it used to be the um, where the boot camp recruits would go and eat their, their food and stuff like that, but turn into a huge spot for uh, like a little market, right? Just tons of restaurants in here. They have brewery in here as well, in this area. And then they're right next to the Stone Brewing World, which is a pretty popular brewery here in San Diego. I'm not sure how else, if they're out, expanding out to other cities in the state, but Stone is super popular here in the area. So back in at Point Loma, let's get our, get our uh, grounds again. Going to North Park, which is northeast of San Diego downtown. North Park and Hillcrest, they're pretty similar locations. Uh, Hillcrest is more, um, more LGBTQ friendly, as well as North Park. It's a super nice area. They have some pretty cool chill spots over there to hang out not as um they have like clubs and stuff too there as well but it's not as busy as downtown so it's, it's a cool spot to go to see from you know meeting people as well and dance and stuff like that uh north park is similar again i mean really all in san diego you're gonna find some great food just everywhere so that's north park is great for that their houses here are pretty expensive same as hillcrest and they're a little bit smaller now it's kind of jam-packed in there so keep that in mind um they're kind of making this whole area into a, into like, a, they're trying to make it into a condo area, kind of like downtown has been, but it's gonna take a while for that. Uh, this whole green spot you see right here is Balboa Park, pretty much. You got San Diego Zoo, Balboa Park, golf courses. This right here is uh, full of museums and stuff like that. You can look at even Japanese friendship garden. Unfortunately, do you, some of these you have to pay for, some of these you don't. Um, so just be aware of that, right? But overall, this, this whole area right here is pretty nice to buy in if you guys are looking to buy in here or even rent in this area as well. Some not so nice places are gonna be here in Logan Heights and Barrio Logan. They have gotten better though. They are starting to gentrify the whole area. I know Barrio Logan is getting a lot of, a lot of places are getting rehab, uh, rehabilitated. Um, a lot of flips are going on over there, so. That is going to be one of the areas that are going to have tons of appreciation I, I foresee in the future because of the gentrification in the area as well as Logan Heights. But if you ask any locals around here, they're going to say that that area is ghetto, which I mean, there's still some areas where it's like that. But um, as I said, you know, it's still, I think it's a good investment to go into if you're looking to get appreciation and stuff like that. But going more south, we get into. Um, South Crest, National City, this whole area, National City is, that's kind of a, uh, not the nicest place to be in, but they do have more affordable homes. We're looking to get an affordable home with a good size as well. Um, if you're going to 32nd Street as a Navy person or even a civilian contractor, you're super close. You're probably like 10 minutes down to the gate in National City. So that's perfect for you guys. And then going more south here, we got to, we get to Chula Vista. Chula Vista is strange because they have some super nice spots in Chula Vista, but also some not so nice spots, right? You can, you can kind of be like in one, one block, it'll be a super nice area. And then next two blocks over, it's like night and day difference. So, um, but overall, I think Chula Vista is nice as well. They're actually doing a huge project in this area right here. They're making, um, I think it's right here actually. They're making a, I'll show you guys actually. A Chula Vista Bayfront project, which is projected to be finished by 2024. They're starting to build it already. They built out this RV park. So you can if you have an RV, you can go to here to vacation, right? This is already open. They're making a bicycle path. Oh, it's already open as well. And then they're also building, these are yet to be completed yet, 
but a huge convention center with 1600 hotel rooms, um, four ballrooms, two levels of meeting space, tons of stuff, right? So homes in this area, they're definitely gonna be seeing tons of appreciation as well, if that's what you are looking for, right? But they don't, they don't project these to be finished until 2024. So keep that in mind as well. It's gonna be like a long hold if you're looking to buy in this area, but you know, they're building condos as well. So that could be something you guys might be interested in. If you're gonna be coming here in the distant future. Pretty awesome, right? 420,000 square feet of commercial space and a 250 room hotel as well. Pedestrian family incorporating wide public plazas in the interior and exterior. So pretty cool, right? I'm um, going down more south here. We go run into Imperial Beach right here, which is this whole area. This is where I was talking about they have a uh, little base right here for landing helicopters and stuff like that. Pretty cool. The Imperial Beach is not as nice as the other ones. Uh, like Pacific Beach, Coronado Beach, Mission, and Ocean Beach. But it is, I still go there quite a bit because it's, it's closer to me than the other ones are. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff, pretty cool restaurants around here you can guys can go to. It's not as popular or as famous as the other areas I mentioned, but it's still a nice little beach area. You know, you can go here, do a little walk. You might not be able to run as well as it would on the other beaches if you're, you're into fitness and stuff like that because... It's a little bit rocky. The sand is kind of riddled with, riddled with little rocks that you might step on. So be careful with that, right? Um, but coming down more south here, we went into San Isidro right here in this area. And that's basically this whole San Isidro area borders the um, Mexico and United States entrance between the two countries, right? So it's, it's basically like Mexico, but they have also nice America's premium outlets right here. Uh, I go there quite a bit. They have some pretty little shops over there too. So if you're looking into that. Uh, I mentioned in one of my other videos as well, Ote Mesa and Ote Ranch right here, going east. They're making tons of new construction. Uh, they're also building another entrance to Mexico right here as well, this whole area is uh, tons of new construction going on, um, new communities, which is super nice. I'll do another video on the, that whole community later on down the line. But uh, if you're looking for a new town, they don't have very many single family homes, but they do have tons of town homes and the condos being built. And then that's gonna be, like I said, Ote Mesa, Ote Ranch, and the East, East Lake area. You also have, in this area, they have uh, Amphitheater. So if you're into doing concerts and stuff like that, or you're even, um just shows of any kind, they're mostly going to be in this area right here, here or in Point Loma. So keep that in mind. All right, so zooming back out, let's go back up north here again. We got in this area, college area, we've got SDSU, which is one of the cheaper universities and nice universities to go to here in the area. Uh, this area is, is pretty okay, the college area, they have a nice, a lot of condos for the students, of course. Um, lots of single family homes as well that people, students would go there and rent out. Uh, by a room. So keep that, if you're looking to go there for something quiet, then I would not recommend the college area because, you know, college kids, they can get kind of crazy and, you know, can't really control much of that unless you complain to the landlord, but who knows how, how effective that will be, right? Um, but to the right, to the east of San Diego State University, we have La Mesa, which is a really nice area. Lots of single family homes. They are on bigger lots as opposed to areas like North Park and uh, downtown Point Loma, right? They have <clears throat> bigger lots, they're, they're not very cheap though, they're pretty pricey. I think the average home price in this area is around 750,000 to 800,000 for a three bedroom, two bath home, which is pretty pricey, but I mean, you're, you're paying for what you're getting, right? Lemis is a nice area. 
Um, they also have nice views. If you're on, they have hills right here, right? So if you're on a nice hill, you can view even as far as downtown if you're up high enough, or even um, Cowles Mountain, which is going to be right here in this area. That's nice as well. But going even further, the pretty much the more east you go, then you're going to be finding the, your more affordable locations, right? So just to draw out for you guys, La Mesa, El Cajon, um, Spring Valley, and Lemon Grove. You got Lemon Grove right here, Spring Valley right here, La Mesa, El Cajon, Lakeside's more up here in this area. But these areas right here are all going to be more affordable. I actually live right here, just below Mount Helix. Um, Mount Helix is actually, speaking of Mount Helix and Spring, Spring Valley, it's actually a super nice spot you can go to. You can go out go to the very top of this mountain, and you can see it's nice to go there during the day, and also nice to go at night so you can see the whole city. And then if you go at night, you can see the all see the lights and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool to look at as well. But uh, as I was saying, this whole area is gonna be more affordable. You're gonna have more, more land to buy. So you can, if you want to, you can expand it on your land, on your property. Um, same thing with El Cajon. I'm not really the biggest fan of El Cajon myself though. There's not much stuff. You kind of get like a small town feel for the area. So if you like a small town feel, El Cajon is probably, it might be the best, better spot for you. Um, same thing with Lakeside over here, a little bit further. Lakeside is pretty far up here. But they have huge lots, uh, a lot cheaper. But again, it's not not the nicest area, and you're not really getting your whole San Diego feel living up there. So keep that in mind. Uh, Santee is nice as well. As I was saying earlier, they do have military housing for military out here, but I've seen them to be even as far up here in Santee. And Santee is about a 40 minute drive to essentially any base down here, down south. So you're going, you're going from Santee to one of these bases right here, right? So uh, 40 minute drive right there. I was living in Spring Valley when I was in, um, and well, sorry, right here. And I was drive all the way over here to Coronado. And that took me about 25 minutes. So up here is about 40 minutes to get to any of the bases a little bit further, right? So if you don't mind the, the drive for the more affordable housing, then you know, by all means, that's the place for you guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. That's from San Diego. This is where the main, I mainly work in San Diego as a real estate agent. I do go as far up to as Oceanside to help out Camp Pendleton as well. But these areas, I'll get, I can do those more later on. If you guys want me to check those out and do a little review of this whole area, please let me know in the comments below, right?